Paul Brarin here from Tinker Try and EV Club of Connecticut looking at the Pipistrel plane. Should have started with your name and what's yeah, your role? Sure, yeah, sure, yeah. My name's Ian Lamont. I'm the Chief Flying Instructor at Sealand Flight in Campbell River. A little less than two years ago, excuse me, flying from Connecticut to Pennsylvania to give some uh, publicity. But I see you've got like a flight school and Pipistrel. What's the status of like certification of this? For sure, yeah, it's, it's certified in Europe and uh, Transport Canada is as an electric airplane trial program and so in that program we're actually allowed to operate it as a commercial airplane. Oh, so, right. so, so they're basically accepting the uh, European certification for the trial and we've got a lot of restrictions but we're able to operate it as fully integrated into our school. So we're allowed to teach everybody all of our students up into including first solo on this electric airplane. Can you also take passengers for sightseeing? Is it really just less? There's no yeah. restriction. You can just no. Do we can uh, we can take people oh, for yeah. sightseeing. So you way ahead of the United States yeah. there on that. Yeah. So it's basically the first plane in Canada that's electric powered, where you can basically buy a seat. So we can we can't go very far. Obviously, it's a new electric airplane, but yep. we can do a city tour in Campbell River. I think it was roughly was it an hour and a half flight time, but because of restrictions in the U.S. It needs to be landing at about an hour. Yeah. Is that true in Canada too? It's, for it's the flight similar time? to that. Yeah, like this one is uh, some of the early uh, electric airplanes were air-cooled and this one's liquid-cooled, so it's a little bit heavier, so it, the, the, basically the, the batteries got a little bit smaller and so like where we're our flights are, training flights are normally 35 to 45 minutes long and uh, that's enough to, to okay. do the lesson. Do you ever do some touch and goes too? Oh yeah, do? yeah, yeah, we can do like uh, seven or eight touch and goes. In one hour, in one yeah. charge? Yeah, on oh, one charge. Yeah. Okay, and then um, you have just one plane for now? Yeah, we have one plane for How now. How do you deal yeah. with charging? Yeah, so we have, uh, we've, we've been talking to quite a few airports about uh, putting in chargers. Like 240, they've... level two, Yeah, 240 like we, uh, we have, um, uh, we basically put the charger in our hangar, so we've got, there's only about two chargers in Canada right now, and one's in Ontario and one's in Campbell River, okay. and so, it's we charge, so it's, it's fully charged right now, like we've, we, uh, we did an open house in Qualicum Beach, but we had to charge the plane in Campbell River, take the wings off, put oh. it in our trailer, and then we flew it in, uh, there's a video of it flying in Qualicum Beach, it was the first electric airplane training flight in Qualicum Beach. But yeah, we're, this is brand new. June uh, June fourteenth, I think it was, was the first uh, commercial electric flight in Canada. When did this plane come into the U.S.? The one we're looking at. Or, uh, oh, sorry, into Canada. Excuse yeah, me. yeah, we uh, we brought it into Canada in February of this year. Oh, this is really new. So it's brand yeah, new. Yeah, the one in uh, Connecticut was, I think, about two years. Yeah. And I know the pilot, you know, still can't take anyone up. We're still in. Some yeah, sort there's of a there's an Alpha Electro, and this is the Velus Electro. Battery pack. Mm -hmm. Can see the. Uh, I tell you, this is all. You can see there's a little. See everything. Uh, great. There's a little uh, the coolant lines here. So this is a, a liquid uh, <laughs> cooled battery pack, and there's an air intake on the side here, and there's electric fans. Oh yeah, there's the air intake. And uh, there's another battery pack just behind there. We get the, we've got one of the half of the seats out, and so. So the pack is right behind the seat there. Yeah. yeah there's one in the one battery pack here in the front. And basically this is all contained in like a firewall and so this little uh, pipe right here, like if there's any kind of uh, thermal issue, it's going to be blowing out that little pipe there. <laughs> I call it the bow thruster. How many hours of what cruise speed? Uh, this is under an hour and we're, we can go like 90, 100 miles an hour. We're using it as a training airplane, so. Perfectly fine to pass yeah, the you can move that yeah, yeah, Is there a brake when you're parked? Uh, uh, nope. Okay. No, it's okay. Uh, you, you can kind of feel the, uh, the magnets. Yeah, and that's one of the. You can kind of feel the magnets as it goes around. It's nice to see these little protectors. Yeah. How hard is it to take the wings off? They did that into the one in Connecticut too to go to a trade show. Yeah, it's it's uh, they're assembled pretty much like every glider has been since the '60s, where there's just uh, the spars carry through um, overhead there, and then you can. There's three connectors, two bolts and one connector. And right. so, yeah, we can put it in a trailer in half an hour. All right. So the um, charging, back to that topic, 
Just before uh, I started the camera rolling, we talked a little bit about a Ford F-150 Lightning that charged it in yeah. Connecticut to go out to do a bit of cross country yeah. with an electric truck to charge it. Yeah. The charger's off board, right? It's saving weight here, so you have no charger in there. If you want to go yeah. AC to DC to charge this thing, it's, uh, I think it was 80 pounder. It's a decent size, like briefcase looking thing. Yeah. Same deal here, but you're actually doing 110, 120 overnight kind of charging. You don't have any, or you actually have any level two. Going yeah, to I'm, I'm really bad. I don't. What speed? How long does it take? It takes 45 minutes. Oh, you do we, a fast charger. We have okay. like the 80, you got all that. We have like the eighty thousand dollar charger. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it saves weight in the plane by having that separate. It's just all you're doing is plugging in a cable. That's right. Yeah. Yep. So the the charger that we got from the factory is, uh, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's. Um, just to plug that into the wall, we had to get a like we have a we don't have three phase to our hangar, so we've got a phase converter, mm. and it I guess it takes two twenty to three phase. Nancy's actually better at talking about electricity. Yeah, yeah, an electrician deal with it, and you yeah. have fast charging. That's great. That's right. Yeah. And then um, for teaching people, how similar is it to a regular plane for them? Um, and, yeah. And of course, cost right <laughs> for giving yeah. lessons. It's got to really help. For sure. Yeah. Like. Um, it's it's hard to to compare it to like the older Cessna 172s that we're flying, um, but we're we're basically we're charging less for this plane than the old Cessna 172, and uh, the a new Cessna 172 would be about three times the price per hour. Oh wow! So and then for operations behind the scenes, you're saving yeah probably even more, right? It, yeah, no, long-term. it's like a 172 burns about eighty dollars an hour in leaded av gas and then this is less than one dollar in electricity for the same amount of flying hmm so how about canada for uh noise abatement is this airport uh, yeah so that's we this is a more airport friendly for the tiny little airports is, with yeah, houses like, nearby exactly like one of the retirement communities for vancouver is is qualicum beach on vancouver island and a lot of people buy houses in qualicum beach and they don't realize that's right beside a busy flight training airport and uh. so um, yeah, we, we've taken it this there and uh, we're trying to encourage the airport to put in electric chargers and, and um, yeah, we're, we're going to be, yeah, w- w- the, this is obviously the first plane, like there is some weight restrictions and stuff, so this plane doesn't work for uh, everybody, but um, we, uh, yeah, we're planning on um, getting more if, if uh, we get enough customers for this one. Yeah, I mean, the battery tech will move on. There's space behind the seat for them to do kind of whatever with that battery pack. The front yeah. one looks kind of space constrained, yeah. but it's, it's a split in two anyway. Yeah, and, to, keep um, the, to keep this one lightweight, like the, you can get a gasoline-powered uh, Velus, and uh, it'll have the, the carbon fiber wheel pants, uh, which make it a little bit more aerodynamic. It has navigation lights, so you can fly it at night. This one is kind of like a stripped-down version for, for lightweight. It's all carbon fiber. Got it. Speaking of other planes, right here at this event, the seaplane, the e yeah. Beaver's landing soon for yes. Press to Sea. Yeah. So I can actually go check that out, but it's cool to have two electric planes, not Absolutely. just yours. Absolutely, yeah, there we one. support each other. Like, it's, uh, like the Much way- bigger plane to point out, right? Yes. Way, more, way bigger. And that, well, the one similar thing is that they're, we're both using it for short hops, right? And so that's where the electric uh, technology is today is those, for airplanes, is those short hops, right? And great so, use case, yeah. And that's what Harbor Air does is like, they're not, flying eight hours into the wilderness they're just going back and forth to Nanaimo and so for, for these initial training flights like we're mm-hmm. going to be um, uh, able to do all those they're they're all basically short hops right like we're only we're we're not we don't need to go even for a full hour and so yeah right. we're getting it all done here is um, that's like the what Pipistrel decided to use and that's kind of like a European standard kind of looks like Chatamo and Nissan Leafs but not really but anyhow, uh, that's yeah. what the engineers at Lafayette College adapted from this to yeah. the charge of the lightning. The yeah. engineers figured that out. That, did, that wasn't yeah. a product. Under that, thank you so much. It's great. No Appreciate your time. Yeah.